June 1st, 2009, Minecraft multiplayer is released, and the world goes insane. Servers start popping up everywhere, and the Minecraft pioneers eagerly begin constructing their new worlds. Well, my friends, seven years later, one very special world emerges from the past. And what's more, it's up for download, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, guys? It's me, Log.Zip. Or uh, should I say Steve. <laughs> and welcome to 2009. Well, kind of. I recently stumbled across a port of one of the original Minecraft classic servers that came out shortly following the multiplayer update back in 2009. Almost seven years ago. And having started playing Minecraft in 2010, this stuff's even older than me. Well, I mean, not me, but older than my time with, right, with Minecraft, yeah. Now, if you weren't aware, the version of Minecraft you see here used to be known as Minecraft Classic, and it predated any sort of properly working single-player survival mode that you used to be able to play. Now, you used to be able to play this version of Minecraft on the official website, but the link has since been removed. Uh, this is how I think I remember it looking. I kind of did some, you know, video editing magic so you could kind of get an idea of, you know, what this would have looked like if you had been playing back in 2009, 2010, even up to 2011. I think the link was finally removed in 2012. But this is how I remember it looking. Now, this original map, to my knowledge, was saved by Nova225, and Reddit user Matt Brox decided it was up to him to bring back a piece of history. And he contacted Nova, grabbed the original server source files, and had to write up some script. He literally coded! He coded for us! That would allow the original files to work again in Minecraft 1.9. As you can see, we're on 1.9.2 currently. Now, the original world files were stored in a format that was currently unreadable by the newest version of Minecraft. That's why he had to write script for it. But now we don't have to worry about that, so thank you very much, Matt. Yay, you've done a good thing. Couple that with the Nostalgia Craft resource pack that you see here that grabs all the original Minecraft textures. Look at this! This is gold! Disgusting looking. Kind of looks like a... Uh Kind of looks like a blaze head without the facial feet. You know what I'm talking about? But really, it just feels like we've gone back in time. Even the original game sound when you get hurt. Listen. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. In this video, we're going to be checking out the world. I thought that'd just be a fun little trip down memory lane. We're in our normal survival mode, which again, technically didn't even exist for this. We we weren't normally able to fly before, but there's just no way to take damage. So but just... Ah, oh, just blast from the past. We're gonna be exploring this world today. I thought it'd be fun. So join me for the adventure and thank you so much once again, Matt Brox and Nova225 for this lovely piece of history. I definitely remember joining this world, like on the website. Such a trip being being on this world again. And I was definitely Steve, because the skins I think skin skins came later, but on the classic version, it just didn't work. Like look at this! Oh, with the with the nostalgia, with the leaves so vibrant and green and like random just water. <laughs> Man, I think the I just don't like how the gold ores looked. Now you'll see the world just seems to end here just randomly. Fun little fact, the original Minecraft worlds, especially on classic, were not infinite. You couldn't just go forever. I think the world types were like small, which was like 64 by 64, and then like, no, I think it was 256, 512, and 1024. Like if we quickly, we'll, we'll come back here in a second, but if we were to quickly look at this world, I could literally fit this entire world in my render distance without any of it. Like that, that's the edge over there. That's the other end. Look at it, we've done it already. In fact, I'm gonna go into game mode three so it can just go a little bit faster, yeah. So check it out. This is what you would see. Man, look at this with the full blown render distance. It looks like this was a, We'll check the coordinates here. So this is at 7.30, roughly 7.40. And if we go back here, I see all the flags. So fun. About Okay, so this looks like it was about a 256 by 256 world. This was the full world. This was like a maxed out world. You couldn't build any more after this. And that's just, I think that's cool. I think that's really fun. All right, we'll go back to, now we'll just stay in creative mode in case we want to fly around or shut. I'm Steve. All righty, so let's give a look. I'm curious where, because that's where you spawn, apparently. That's where you would start your little adventure on this world. Another interesting, oop, another interesting fact of the matter is wools were different colors. Look at the different colored wools. This is lime wool, and this is yellow wool. You'll see the original wool colors were different looking. They didn't have as many grays. They didn't have, I think they didn't have a black wool. They just had different 
like a lot of different greens and yellows. It's kind of nice. Some of the structures that you can see up on top there look way cool with these combinations. It's lovely. Now, what is it? Some sort of throne room? Man, times are, there was no pistons, no slime blocks, no anything pretty much. Sponges. Sponges were pretty prevalent though. Now, in the old classic worlds, water acted crazy. Like if you were to place a water block right here, for example, it wouldn't just flow straight downwards. It would literally flow sideways and water would start appearing like all the way everywhere. In fact, if you're curious enough, you can go into your Minecraft launcher and choose one of the old versions of Minecraft. You could literally play classic if you want to. You, you won't be able to get this world as far as I'm aware because there was no way to port the worlds, I think. But pretty sweet stuff nonetheless. All right, so this is a throne room, I guess. Looks simple enough. So this is the world border. You technically, you were stuck here. You wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to fly out right here. It was like barrier blocks before they were a thing. So we're back right here. Okay. Don't fall in there. Otherwise you'll get stuck. Now let's see. Maybe we can climb up here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I got to be faithful. There we go. I had the Optifine on. That's not how it looked. Optifine was nowhere around at all when Classic was here. It, <laughs> that didn't exist. I'm sorry. And not only that. So check it out. This is how items used to, well... Not a good example. I'll grab a regular. You know how items are 3D when you drop them? This is... What? It's still... I guess that doesn't work at all. It used to just be the item. Like, you would just see this on the ground. It wasn't 3D. Well, I can't figure that out right now, but just trust me, please. Anyways, let's get rid of the hoe, and we'll get rid of the grass block as well, and continue our journey. Check out this... Hey, a little piggy. Now, I don't remember, actually, if animals were on the version of Clash you get. They might just be spawning in because of grass. Animals will spawn on grass, you know? But I don't recall. Gosh, are these just hideous looking? The blocks of gold? Ugly. I think diamond blocks look similar too. And lapis wasn't a thing yet. I don't even know if redstone blocks were technically a thing yet. Any blocks you don't see? Because I'm in 1.9 now. So obviously all these blocks exist now. But if you don't see it in this world, it just didn't exist yet. Oh, here's the old gravel. Ugly. I hated how gravel looked. It looks like real gravel. Just disgusting. No good. Keep it away from me. The old cobblestone as well. Super dark compared to the new texture. Kind of like, stay away from me. The houses looked really gross when you made... I used to have just straight up just cobblestone houses. Was not attractive one bit. Let's see. Can we get in this house anywhere? Where would the entrance be? This used to be populated with people at all times. Man, I just remember. Yo, talk about an expedition. The iron and coal used to just be placed way more normally looking. Now, see, whenever you see sponges like this, you know something was up to no good. You know, I was telling you the water would just spread wildly. Well, sponges was the only way to deal with that. Anywhere there was a sponge, water was not allowed within, like, I don't know, a certain amount of blocks. You can see that the sponges are not close enough to get this water, but in a couple of other portions... You know, we'll, we'll try and find some on this world. I know for a fact they exist somewhere. There were no staircases. Zero staircases. Everything was just a block jump. There may have been half slaps. I don't know if it was technically out yet. Obviously, it came out, but I don't see any in this world just yet. Man, how far down does this go? I think the height limit was also 128 as well, so you couldn't build anything higher up than 128. It's 256 now. I think it's going to stay at that point for a long time because doubling it to 512 would take a lot of resources, and most people's computers probably couldn't handle it. Now where am I? Ultimate dungeon. Oh! Fell in. Wow, it just keeps going. Look at this place. I really like the wool colors. I think they should bring back those lovely, just colorful wool colors. Eee, now where am I? Wow, nice bed. They weren't even beds. This That's what I mean. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, man, I want to... See? This is what I mean with the widespread sponge. This was the only way to get rid of water. If you accidentally... You could literally ruin a multiplayer server by placing water at, like, block 100 in the air. It would just cover the entire server. If I if I can try and find one on YouTube, I'll show like a little clip of it. Wild. Honestly, crazy. So you needed sponges or your world was totally and completely ruined. Man, and spectator mode makes it so much easier. These this is underground. Underground villages. This is main. This is main right here. What what are we at right now? We're at 76. All this underground city. Could you imagine in 2009 this game's brand new. 
the coolest thing that you can do whatever you want there's like leaves and stuff underground lobby man i don't even think i saw half of this it's literally underground city this is sick this is so cool oh my goodness now there's a throne baby i'd sit all over that the wool used to have the same color as diamond blocks now and i think a lot of that is what happened i know for a fact a lot of blocks kind of replaced wool as similar colored things came out because i don't actually think i i'm not sure i you know don't quote me on i don't think diamond blocks were out yet i haven't seen i haven't seen any ew this is the bottom of the gold blocks that's the ugliest thing i've ever seen in my life on oh, well, on minecraft <laughs> but you see i don't see any diamond blocks anywhere so i literally don't think they were out yet so what happened was they made diamond blocks and then they made the the diamond colored wool not diamond color because now you can just use diamond blocks if you're trying to decorate now where are we we're kind of just jumping around at this point let's see how tall this tower was i bet you it reached huh oh you know what it was that's what it was the server version's a classic. I think they had a different height limit. I'm getting a little mixed up here. I'm sorry. It's been, like I said, it's been like six years for me. But the, the original survival height limit was 128. I think servers could go to whatever custom height you set. Because I do remember jumping on some gnarly classic servers. You just you would fall as far as you could. And you would fall for like 20 seconds. But check this out. It's like a, a, grass, a grass and glass elevator. Nice. And, and except not an elevator. You just had to climb. This would take so long. Ah, what can we see from around here? I know there's a, see, there's Mario. Mario. Woo. And Kirby. Pixel art was a lot harder to do on the classic servers because of, like I said, there was a lot less blocks to choose from. Since so many blocks just weren't introduced yet, wool was a lifesaver. For classic, 100%. At least for pixel art. But even then, you see, no black wool. They only had gray wool. You only had very specific colors. There wasn't, there wasn't really a pink block. There was just these very kind of almost like it looks like Kirby was like the saturation got boosted up on him or something ridiculous. Flying ships. Is this a spaceship? Beautiful. At lives here. I wonder where he's at. Yeah, <laughs> get. I'm funny. See, like, look at this. I love the colors. The wool, please. Can we petition to bring back these wools or just some more wool, please? I would be so down for just infinite wools. Like, oh, the way they just bleed into each other. So not like, look at this one. What are these? Check it out. Roofs made of leaves truly was a classic time. Man, I'd live here. Of course, castles were still the big thing in Minecraft. It wasn't necessarily about modern architecture just yet there weren't fun quartz blocks and you know the stone bricks that you could make nice looking stuff with you a lot of it was just kind of like archaic looking like infiniminer dwarven fortress stuff like that dwarf fortress whatever it's called so castles were big everything was real medieval y your options were limited but that just means you had to be that much more creative with what you were building and i think that's huge there we go nova 25 look at you OG oh, man he was playing way longer than see what well I guess is is this just his world this might be his world this could have been his server that he hosted to let people join oh a maze oh was this a maze too can we it is it's oh it's not a maze it's just a glass house people felt so cool making stuff looks like alien looks like an alien beacon or something ready to call in so here's a maze but where am I trying to get to? I assume the orange, which means we should what? We start in the red? All right, let's try and get through this maze. This should be good. All right, let's see. What do we got? It's so hard to see with the, the glass. I mean, I just hate dealing with glass in general. Ah! Anyways, but mazes are, mazes are good. You see, some things never change. Mazes were just the hot thing back in 2009. I still love mazes. I'm a fan of mazes every day of my life you know you can't get mad about it okay so we made it up to the second level it seems to be a, a simple enough maze what if there's drops you can fall Ooh! oh man i wouldn't like it okay is it are we trying to get i think we're trying to get even higher than this okay let me see come on now let me through please 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 i want to finish this maze in a reasonable amount of time oh there we go top floor Oh, we're heading towards it. We're going to kill it right now. Look at this. I know the way. I know the... Dang it, I'm stuck. Okay, so instead we'll just go 
Oh, I f I fall. There's a trap. Look, you literally just gotta start jumping. Ah, jumping for parts, man. I don't know about. Th oh, wait a second. Wait, did I make it? Was that the real ending? I thought this was. Let me. Let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, that's it for the maze. I'm gonna do a quick more run through over. You can catch a final clip. Ew. Oh gosh, what is that? That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. SpongeBob. There we go. Got the flags coming in. I mean, I'm biased because I'm from America. I assume that's the United States flag. But there's a bunch of other country flags. There's actually a lot of stuff for you to explore, guys. If you decide to download this world, a link to it's going to be found in the description of this video if you want to check it out for yourself. Spleef! Spleef! Do y'all remember Spleef? No, no one remembers Spleef. Way past your time. Spleef was the coolest. Spleef was the best. Spleef was the king. Basically, Spleef, you just try and knock people out... Uh, from from under you'd be breaking the blocks underneath them in an attempt to make them fall down here And whoever was left on top was the winner. Oh so much fun Simpler times in 2009 guys. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of what minecraft looked like seven Years ago, it's done a lot of evolving since that point and I'm excited to see where it goes from here Once again big thank you to Nova and Matt Brox for this awesome saving of the world and I guess transferring of the world into a playable format. Highly encourage you to check it out. Nostalgia Craft Resource Pack as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little look back, please do drop a like rating on the video. Be much appreciated, friends. And be subscribed to my videos so you can see more of them right as they come out. With that, I leave you. Have a great 2016. And I'll see you in the past.